the auditory pathway is made up of auditory conductors consisting of number of links in central nervous system. Here it is, the pons, the midbrain, and the hemispheria cerebri. The cellular body of the first neuron lies in the spiral ganglion, which is located in lamina spiralis ossa of modulus. This is a cross-section of one of two and a half turns of the cochlea. The spiral ganglia is depicted in yellow inside of the lamina spiralis ossea. The inner space of the cochlea turn consists of three cavities, scala vestibuli, scala tympani and ductus cochlearis. Inside of the ductus cochlearis, fulfilled with the endolymph of the basal membrane, lies ciliary or hair receptor cells of the organ of corti. Here it is the cross section through the scala vestibuli, number one, scala tympani, number two, and ductus cochlearis, number three. Receptor ciliary cells are marked here with the letter C. The movement of the cilia of receptor ciliary cells due to vibration of the endolymph result in electrical action potential. Number one are the first neuron located in ganglion spirale and represented by bipolar cells. The peripheral process of bipolar cells enters the organ of corti and ends at the receptor cells. The letter A designates receptors in the hair cells of cortis organ and peripheral process of the first neurons. The central process of the bipolar cells passes at the cochlear division of the auditory nerve number 8 to its nuclei So, letter B represents central process of the first neurons as part of the fibers of eight cranial nerve. The cochlear nuclei, nucleus cochlearis dorsalis and ventralis, are located in rhomboid fossa in dorsal part of the pons. It is in this nuclei that the bodies of the second neurons of the auditory pathway are located. The axons of the second neurons from the dorsal nucleus of the cochlea, letter C, are located on the surface of the rhomboid fossa, forming so-called acoustic strings Stria acoustici or stria medullaris in Latin. These strings, designated as SAC, stria acoustici, run across the surface of the rhomboid fossa and divide it into two triangles corresponding to dorsal surface of medulla and pons. Reaching the dorsal median fissure. The axons of second neurons go down into the pons and continue to move 
to the opposite side as part of fibers of trapezoidal body, corpus trapezoidum in Latin, after passing to the opposite side. Some of the fibers switch to the third neuron in the nucleus dorsalis corporis trapezoida. This is the synapse, the axons of the second neurons starting in the NCV or nucleus cochlearis ventralis. Cross the opposite side of the pons over the corpus trapezoidum. Thus, it can be argued that the corpus trapezoidum is a collection of fibers of the auditory pathway that go through the pons in a transverse direction to cross the brainstem to the opposite side. After a complete transition to the opposite side of the pons, the set of axons of the second and third neurons of auditory pathway forms a compact bundle of fibers lateral loop or limniscus lateralis, LL, lateral limnisc, transits through the pons and midbrain up to the isthmus rhombencephaly, where it is formed trigonum limnisci, and reaches the medial geniculate body or corpus geniculatum mediali in Latin. Here it is and trigonum limnists. The last neuron of the auditory pathway, third or fourth neuron, is located in the CGM, corpus geniculatum mediale. That is why medial geniculate body is called the subcortical center of the hearing. The axon of the last neuron, usually fourth order neuron, through the white matter of cruz posterior of capsula interna and radiatia acoustica reached the upper temporal gyrus of the cerebral cortex or GTS. Thus, the superior temporal gyrus represents the cortical end of auditory analyzer. Now we have almost completed the basic scheme of the auditory pathway and few additional remarks. The auditory pathway can have a different number of neurons, three or four neurons, usually four neurons. In addition to the indication of localization of neurons, third neuron may be located in the triangle of the loop, trigonum lemnisci. The auditory pathway is predominantly crisscrossed. This means that most of the axons of the second neurons move to the opposite side or contralateral side. However, some neurons remain on the same or ipsilateral side. And the last remark, in addition to the conscious auditory pathway of the cortical direction, there is an unconscious or reflex part of the auditory pathway. Some of the fibers of the auditory pathway do not reach to the cortex and switch to the effector neuron in lower collicles of the midbrain. So, tractus tectospinalis carries out an unconscious reaction to an unexpected auditory stimuli.